What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, we easily defeated Koga's Gym, and uh, now it's time for us to go to probably one of the most difficult ones, and that is Sabrina. Now, if you guys don't remember, Sabrina, Psychic-type Gym Leader, Generation 1, the best way to beat a Psychic-type Pokemon, instead of a, you know, a Bug-type move, because, you know, there's only two bug type moves, is through physicality. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here, is we're going to be using sheer uh, brutality and physicality. And we're going to take on Sabrina's gym right here. As you can see, she's got a cue ball, a burglar, a medium, and, well, of course, Sabrina herself. Now, let's go right ahead and pick out some new Pokemon. Now, off screen, I did go ahead and, uh, you know, leveled up a few Pokemon evolved a few Pokemon because we're gonna be needing them for this one right here so as you guys can already tell Leonardo we used him back in Pokemon let's go Pikachu and well although his moves are a little bit limited he is quite the physical attacker when you know need be and all that stuff so we're gonna use him Dragonite as you guys already know yes we used him in Pokemon let's go Pikachu didn't really give him a nickname or anything like that but he does have body slam this could actually help us out and then, since there is a medium on that, uh, you know, in that crew, we're going to be using Ultra Psycho just in case we have to run into any kind of, uh, you know, ghost type Pokemon. Because, remember, in Generation 1, the three ghost type Pokemon are also psychic type Pokemon, or are also poison type Pokemon. Excuse me. So, who are the next three Pokemon that I should be using? Of course, we got to go with Godzilla because he's very physical. And, well, I think, let's see... We could go with tank number two right here, but it looks like to me that tank number one does have a better move set. He does, and his speed is a little bit better. But I kind of don't want to use him right now. Don't want to saturate the whole thing with like the same typing. I think that we are going to stay put with uh, Hydra for the time being. And uh, well, let's see. We could go with Dubasaur right here, but it is also a poison type Pokemon. It doesn't have a necessary move to actually beat these guys. So we got to steer away from weaknesses. So let's go and see. Let's see. Budkiss right here. We could go with Budkiss. And let's go ahead and put one more Pokemon on this spot right here. I am thinking, let's see, Aaliyah could go in and do that, but it is not very physical. Again, we gotta go with hard hitters, so it looks like to me, let's see, Sparky's a little bit a little bit stronger right here since it is the Pokemon Yellow uh, Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. Yeah, we're gonna be using We're gonna be using hard hitters right here. Our only thing, our only weakness right here is that we, there's two or three of these Pokemon that are slow. So as you can see guys, he is starting off strong. He got a Dragonair, a Primeape, Dugon, Mankey, Machop, and Rhyhorn. So we got to acclimate to this one right here. So Ultra Psycho, a Dragonite, and well, we could go with Leonardo right here. You know what, let's go ahead and use Leonardo right here because I do have a little bit of a... Surprise for this Dragonite right here, or Dragonair. So here we go, Ultra Psycho ready to go. And here he comes out with a Primeape. Man, you made the huge mistake right here. So let's go, Psychic Attack. Oh yes, Primeape's ready to go, but guess what? He's not going to lay one single hand on Ultra Psycho because here comes the Psychic Attack. And this takes care of Primeape. Ooh. Yeah, one hit, KO, Sumi. And, well, he's going to be coming out with another one right here. So, let's see what he got. And he's coming out with a Rhyhorn. And, you know, this is funny. Rhyhorn actually looks shiny with the blue tongue. But <laughs> it's, not really a, it's not really a shiny Pokemon at all. So, here we go. Ultra Psycho. Psychic Attack. And this one right here nearly lays him out. And here he comes out with an Earthquake Attack. So... Hopefully this doesn't take a lot out of us, and uh, well, it takes a huge chunk out of us. Now we do have recover, just in case we have to like you know recover and all that stuff. But let's go right ahead and use psychic attack for the win. Finish him. And Rhyhorn has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so who's next? Who is next? And well, 
The next Pokemon this guy will come out with is a Machop, so I guess we won't have any problem just trying to defeat this guy, so let's go ahead and use a Psychic Attack to beat this guy right here. So here we go, Psychic Attack for the win! And, well, of course, Machop's not that strong. Yeah. One hit, so Ultra Psycho sweeps this whole team. I was kind of hoping this guy was going to come out with, uh, yeah. I was kind of hoping he was going to come out with a Dragonair, but he didn't do it. Could have done it, but it didn't do it. So, we win our first one, and we're going to be going up against the Burglar right here. So, bring him on. So, the next one. Round two. Burglar. And he's got Fire-type Pokemon. Ooh, man, this is going to be fun. Now, I could go with Leonardo first, but he does have quite a few Pokemon that are faster than mine. So, we're going to do it in reverse right here. And, yes, we're going to start off with Dragonite. Now, many of you guys are saying that, well, you didn't really use Dragonite a lot in the, in your Pokemon Let's Go Eevee walkthrough, or Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Yeah, but I still used them, and if you guys remember, I lost two, I lost with him a quite a few times, and good gravy, I forgot about something. Good gravy. Okay, it's good. Oh, Hyper Beam. We're going to go with Hyper Beam. I actually thought I had Dragonite with uh, Water Type Attack, so... From the word go, this guy, oh crud. So here comes a body slam attack, and we're gonna be frozen for one turn just because we use Hyper Beam. Oh, gravy. So yeah, we must recharge. I actually thought, yeah, I actually thought I taught, I taught Dragonite uh, Surf right here. So here he comes again with another body slam, and this one actually paralyzes us. So this cannot be good. That's a big, big mistake on me. So we're gonna give him a little bit of a, a, a bit of his own medicine right here. So he's gonna go with another body slam, and this one lowers our HP just a little bit more. So here we go, body slam attack, and this does it right here. Say goodbye to Growlithe. Now again, I actually thought I taught Dragonite a Surf attack, so that's a huge bet on me. Probably, I'm probably going to have to fix that up later on right here. So, here he comes out with a Ninetales. So, yeah, we are we are pretty much screwed right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a Thunder Wave just to make it easier for my uh, Blastoise. If we make it out of this one right here. And, oh, we do. We make it out of this one right here. And here comes a Thunder Wave attack. So, this one right here will actually benefit our Blastoise. And I'm assuming... That Ninetales is going to be faster than us. Yes, it is. And it needs to recharge, of course. So here we go. And wow, as luck would have it, we are paralyzed. Good gravy. Okay. Screw it. Oh, uh, gravy. And of course, he's coming out with a Hyper Beam attack. Good god. Okay, so that takes care of my Dragonite. Oh, man. Okay. What will the next? Pokemon the next Pokemon team. will be Leonardo. <laughs> and hopefully we are faster than this guy. Look at that. Two cannons. What's up, Leonardo? It has been a while. And, uh, well, let's go with a Hydro Pump. Hopefully this actually turns out to be the one that hits it. So here we go. Hydro Pump for the win. And no, that does not take this guy out. And it needs to recharge. So now... We actually have a chance to beat this guy, and I kind of screwed myself over by giving him attacks that just like 75% uh, uh, you know, hit rate and all that stuff, and two turn stuff. That will change once you know I start flip-flopping Pokemon from uh, Pokemon Crystal. That way it learns a little bit more new moves to this generation right here. So, there we go. We defeated a Talar, and now we're taking on Ponylar. I'm assuming, yeah, that is a Ponytail right there. So, let's go with a Hydro Pump. Hopefully, it wins us this match. And here comes a Takedown Attack. And that will actually give it a recoil. So, luckily for us, that takes four, well, 14 HP right there. So, let's go Hydro Pump again. And that one missed. Okay, so, we got two Hydro Pumps. We got to make them count. We really do. So, here comes another Takedown Attack from Ponyta. It actually looks like a half, like a a, 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 a Rapidash just a little bit. Just a little bit of a Rapidash, a halfway Rapidash. And there we go, Hydro Pump. Takes care of Ponyta, throwing out the peace sign. Leonardo wins it. Okay.
It has been a while since we've seen this guy, especially in like a, I don't know, a crappier version of 3D or something. <laughs> so there it is, guys. We defeated Burglar. That is number three. And now we're going to be going up against the Medium. And like I said, Medium is probably going to have a, a Ghost-type attack here. Ghost-type Pokemon. So we're going to go straight up with Ultra Psycho right here. And it looks like to me, okay. Okay, so Ultra Psycho is very effective against five out of the six Pokemon. So let's go for the obvious picks right here. We're gonna go for the guys that actually took us, you know, pretty much led this team. So here we go, coming back outside right here, and we're back with Ultra Psycho. And of course, this asshole likes to come out with a lick a tongue right here. So. We are going to, yeah, we are going to struggle just a tad bit, but luckily for us, we are faster than this guy, so maybe two psychic attacks could work, and that one does some damage, so here we go, hopefully it's, oh crap, come on, miss, 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 and that one has failed, so, <laughs> that means we just swapped this game. We just swept him, or her, or medium. Is it a him or her? Comment down below. And there we go. Psychic attack for the win. Lick, lick a tongue has been defeated. Yeah. Stay down, homeboy. So, it doesn't matter what happens next. It's a poison type. Irregardless, it doesn't really matter. And here he comes out with a Gengar. And, well, let's see. Who is the faster out of the both? I don't know. I would like to say it's Alakazam. And it is, so here we go, Alakazam does it, Psychic Attack, it is super effective, and Gengar does survive, and oh gravy, a Toxic Attack, so now, yeah we have to beat this guy quickly, because that Toxic Attack will take our HP more and more as we progress right here, so here we go, Psychic Attack for the win, and that will... That will actually prevent any HP from going down right there. So there we go. Say goodbye to Gengar. There's a difference in the number yes. of reserve Pokemon. <laughs> the, uh, the, the announcer states the obvious right there. And here she comes out with Haunt Er. And, well, so far so good. We are not getting affected by any of this uh, toxic. So here we go. Psychic attack. Finish him off. Let's go. And Hunter has been, no, not defeated, but we get hit by that poison. And here comes a Confuse Ray. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, so now, yeah, now we're going to have to play the odds right here. Because if we don't hit, then we're going to get hurt a little bit more with this, uh, yeah. And here it is. Psychic Attack does the trick. Say goodbye to Hunter. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. And look at that. We are victorious. This enables us to go straight to Sabrina. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. So things are progressing. Look at that. Sabrina's not looking too happy right now. So let's go right ahead and meet up with our first girlfriend. Our second. I don't even know how many girlfriends I have in the, in the Pokemon verse. And, well, look at that. Alrighty. So... Okay, I think I already know what Pokemon I'm going to be using. Yeah, buddy, okay. And, uh, well, let's see. This is sort of a risk, but... Oh, crud. This is a huge risk, so let's go right ahead and use these kinds of Pokemon right here. Oh, God, this is a huge gamble, but we're going to be going with Godzilla first. And look at that. She does come out with an Executor. And, well, luckily for us, we are powerful against this guy right here. Flamethrow attack for the win. Say goodbye to Executor. That is a critical hit. Say goodbye to Exec. Oh, wow. Survived. Never mind. And here comes a Toxic attack. And that one right there hurts us just a little bit. So let's go right ahead and use another flamethrower attack to win this one right here. And the flamethrower does the trick. Look at that. Flamethrower. Say goodbye to Executor. Okay, all right. Look at that. Executor not faring so well. I am happy about this. And, you know, that Toxic won't kill us right now. And who is the next Pokemon? And it is Alakazam. So now this is the challenge right here. Alakazam is a very, very broken Pokemon in this game. But like I said, physicality does its thing. And, yes, it is faster than us. So now... 
kind of got our work cut out for us, but luckily for us, Godzilla is a very, very good physical attacker, and there is a critical hit. And that nearly takes out Alakazam, and we're hurting just a little bit, so we gotta hit him one more time in order to beat this guy. This is the hump, and here comes a Psybeam attack. And that right there hits us, doesn't beat us, finish him with a slash attack. And there goes Alakazam. Oh, yes. Physicality, guys. Remember, physicality in Generation 1 beats the Psychic-type Pokemon. So we got one more chance at this, and he or she is coming out with a Hypno, so we got to beat this girl. We have to beat her with one attack, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Godzilla is probably going to faint in the next turn right here. So here we go. Slash attack. Critical hit. Does some damage, and, well, we're getting hurt by poison. And here comes a confusion attack. That might seal it. And yes, Godzilla has done his job. Took out the two best Pokemon that we could have lost to. And well, yes, let's go with Dragonite right here. Now, I could be using Budkiss, but Budkiss is a last-ditch effort right here. Let's go, Dragonite. Be physical. Let's go with a body slam, and that right there will probably ensure us to get more uh, more attacks off if you know it paralyzes them. And there we go, critical hit. Say goodbye to Hypno. Throwing out that peace sign. I am throwing out the peace sign. Oh yes. So there you go, guys. We are victorious yet again. And well. It was at the cost of our Godzilla. Man, we still have to get yeah, we still have to get that one free pass before we get to the Pokemon League because Rap Baskets on a crime. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Okay, so there it is guys. We defeated the Saffron City Gym. And that opens up the uh what was it? The Cinnabar Island gym. And of course, we got two more gyms to go, guys. Oh yeah, it is going to get intense right here now. Blaine is a fire type user and he will have some Pokemon trainers that well, we'll be using some different kinds of moves and all that stuff, but we will be ready. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. Thank you for supporting it. I will come out with another episode next weekend. That way we get uh, straight to the Pokemon League and all that stuff. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.